Yo guys, what's up? My name is Jack2505. This is The Hood House and welcome to Diary of an Engineer. This is the video series that puts me in a horde 1 to 50 master with a random group, no friends, no allies, into the wild and wish me the best of luck. Now don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So let's get on with the video. This horde game is going to be set on District, the Gears 5 map. I've decided to go with a robotics expert for this run and my car setup for this run is bloody support, experimental weapons, global overclock, precision repairs and combat engineer. The match starts and we have the following. Level 20 gunner, level 17 marksman, level 20 veteran and a level 20 tactician. The match starts and the tap spawns towards the right middle of the map and I know I'm by myself because my team thinks we are going to the boring arcade room. Just look at them. We ain't going there boys. Get ready to fight in the open and defend taps. Wave 2 and I buy a level 1 wire for the left and right. Wave three, I buy the first locker. Wave five, and the tactician says, this spot is a bad place, probably because he lives in the arcade room. I simply reply to him, get to work. Wave six, and the locker is now level four, and I buy the second locker. Wave seven, and a second wire is placed on the left for extra security, and the same is applied to the right. Wave eight, and the third locker is here. Wave 10 and it is the Matriarch. It comes storming in, kills one player, completely rips me apart, destroys the lockers, then seems to get stuck between the wall and the Fabricator. We lucked out on this one. The team killed the Matriarch and we move on to the next wave. Wave 11 and the second tap spawns in the middle and I've got repairs to do. Wave 12 and it's time to place some wires down to protect the middle tap. Wave 15 and we get the carrier. I build a locker for myself. The carrier makes his way towards us very quickly and is backed up by a boomer that downs me. The carrier destroys my locker and I bring out the DR1 to draw the carrier away from the base to avoid further damage. We kill the carrier and progress. Wave 18 and more wires are added to the far left and right to help slow down the horde at a further distance. Also a lot of heavy trouble on the left but the team deal with the situation. Wave 20 and we get the Swarmak who spawns on the other side of the map and hopefully will not make its way to our base. The Swarmak for some reason remains on the other side of the map to try and kill us at a distance. I run to the other side to try and distract the Swarmak to avoid it coming towards our base. We do our best to kill the Swarmak and we progress to the next wave. Wave 21 and the third tap spawns in the small room on the right. Now hopefully the horde do not really attack these taps so not that much fortifications will be required for those areas. Wave 25 and the stumps are here. The stumps always suffer the same problem of being too slow and finding it difficult to reach our base. They get killed quickly. TC, this mini boss needs a movement buff. Wave 26 and the wires on the left are upgraded to level 2 and extra wires are also purchased and upgraded for the right. Wave 27 and shock sentries are purchased for the left and right. Also a little bit of trouble in the middle so I have to go for a little bit of a revive train here. Wave 29 and again we get into some trouble. I'm not sure what those guys were doing there in the middle and I also then get down by the boomer when I'm behind cover. The boomer gets closer and executes one of the teammates. We survive and progress to wave 30. Wave 30 and the Swarmac is back and the rest of the horde are dealt with very quickly and the Swarmac again stays on the other side of the map. We manage to turn it around, then it makes a quick dash for the base, but we manage to stop it before it makes any 
major damages and we beat wave 30. Wave 35 we get the warders. The cryo cannons are unleashed right away and they get killed pretty quickly and we progress to the next wave. Wave 36 and the left and right are looking secure and I purchased another locker for myself to store more cryo cannons. Wave 40 and the matriarch is back. Me and the gunner double team the matriarch and apart from a couple of damaged wires and the middle tap gone, we managed to defeat the horde and the matriarch and we continue to the next wave. Wave 36 and I swear to god, the splash damage from the boomer is too much, even behind cover and he still manages to get me. Wave 47 and a hunter downs me, I get killed by a pouncer then brought back and there's about 2-3 to three sires in the base killing people, then I get killed again by the drop shot scion. The tactician is the only person left. He puts up a good fight, but then is eventually killed and this run is a fail. Now I'm very confused to how the horde managed to just force their way back in, but we have to look back and assess the situation. Things that could have gone better. I should have built more wires in the middle, more level 2 wires. I should have built some laser wires around the base to stop the horde from coming in. And I should have named the lobby, we are not going to the arcade room to get players in who are ready for that type of challenge on District Master 1-50. to So that is the end of the diary in District. The team eventually adapted to the non-arcade room run. We got overrun at the end and was, you know, to be honest, unlucky not to complete it. But hey, that's hard for you sometimes. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Diary of an Engineer. Tell me what you thought in the comment section below and let me know. Now, thank you very much for making it to the end of the video. My name is Jack2505. This is The Horde House and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.